tonight on Four Corners, China's mass incarceration of its Muslim population and how it's tearing Australian families apart. <laughs> Free to practice their religion here, in Xinjiang, the Chinese government has effectively outlawed Islam. Can't pray, can't fast, need to speak Chinese in the school. Where more than one million Muslim minorities have been rounded up, detained and forcibly indoctrinated by the Chinese regime. All around Australia, members of the Uyghur community are missing someone. Everyone has a family member detained, incarcerated or trapped in Xinjiang. All of us, many of us will cry when we are alone. <laughs> Just tell the world, tell everyone what happened, what's been Happen, what's happening now. Every single people overseas lost someone in their, in their family. And I'm the one of the victim. When I was growing up, I fell in love with the idea that you could use the law to pursue fairness and opportunity. Our Congress people, when they're running for office, spend so much time talking to rich donors that they very easily see the problems of the rich people. Higher taxes, Washington regulations, their job-killing policies that hurt Nevada families. Money is the mother's milk of American politics. I don't like the influence of campaign money at the policymaking level. I think of campaign money as being a huge problem. One of my political mentors told me when I first ran, he said, take money from anyone who will give it to you and then vote how you think the right way to vote is and let them decide whether they'll give you a donation the second time or not. The Koch brothers are trying to buy America. Koch Industries is the second largest private corporation in the U.S. We've sold our soul to the pharmaceutical companies. The child that I gave birth to, my flesh and blood, I lost him. That's the money. This country has become profoundly undemocratic. The only thing that can stop this corrupt machine is you. Dear people around the globe, for the ones who don't know anything about Uganda, we are the youngest population in the whole world. The story is about Robert Chagulanyi, also known as Bobby Wine, known for his music but leading what they call the struggle for freedom. He preaches out love, unity, uh, he preaches out peace. People are pushing him to another position. The parliament cannot come to the ghetto, the ghetto will come to the parliament. As I was driving out of the airport, my car was uh, blocked and I was questioned uh, on different allegations of uh, terrorism. Bill Gates is apparently giving me money to remove this government. You cannot allow a dictatorship. He told me that they had dropped grenades at his house. Rise up and defend the Constitution before the Constitution is too weak to defend us. Chesterthrosamoso, <laughs> Als 
internationale Elemente anzusprechen sind, weil sie überall ihre Geschäfte bedienen. Nation. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. You have no choice. I shall work with the whole of Hong Kong in the next five years. The Universal Suffrage Chief Executive Election will work well. America, an incurably divided nation. If somebody sees me and they hate me, it has to do with the culture, American culture. America is a country that's in, I think, very, very deep trouble. That with Donald Trump, we are seeing the beginning of the end of America as we have known. Trump punches. I don't think racism ever really went away. We'd have a politics based on compassion, not a politics based on competition and hatred. They came charging in without a permit and they were very, very violent. The fact is, we have been divided by those who benefit from us being divided. Brazil was once a rising global star. Today, it has descended into crisis under far-right President Jair Bolsonaro. E pessoas passando fome e para eles pouco importa. O que importa para este governo, para este presidente, são as grandes empresas. Fascism takes many forms. In Brazil, President Bolsonaro has rolled out his austerity plan of budget cuts and privatizations. Estamos abertos para o mundo naquilo que melhor temos para oferecer. Nossos produtos do campo. Big agricultural corporations are making huge profits from record exports of soy, coffee, and meat. But while that food is sent abroad, at home, Brazilians are increasingly going hungry. A gente vê que Bolsonaro, os nossos direitos trabalhistas, que a gente lutou muito para ter, isso a gente não pode fazer. I think Hong Kong people are really used to getting on the street, marches and stuff, which is, in, in a way, is good, but I think it's also really necessary to escalate. You felt really um, powerless going against a huge propaganda. Come to sense that this is all should be heard in a democratic society. And if it's not heard, that means here it's not democratic. The population of the CAR, which is 80% Christian, welcomed the new president in trial. Jotobia appeared reassuring. But soon, things went wrong. They came after us in our homes. Seven months after taking office, the president has lost all credibility. We want a new president. This one isn't capable of running the country. 
clashes broke out in the Central African capital. Armed men stand at every intersection. Shoot, shoot! People are alleging that I can't control my men. I can control those who are with me. But as for those who are not with me, how can I control them?